This Romanian rabbi spent seven years translating the Torah into Romanian. As a Moderna Orthodox rabbi working at a Jewish day school in Montreal, Soren Rosen knows a prayer book. But it wasn't always like that. I remember when I was a kid, and I started going to synagogue, I probably kept my sitter upside down for three months until someone said, hey, look, this is how it works, Rosen recalled of an experience he had as a teenager in his native Romania. Now, Rosen has created a historical tool to help Jews like that younger version of himself, the first Romanian language Chumash, or Torah text. Torah S.I. Haftarot, which is translated and transliterated into Romanian, will be presented at a ceremony on Sunday at the Bucharest Choral Temple to celebrate both the book itself and Rosen's seven-year effort to bring it to the world. I anticipated it would be a long project. I didn't expect it to take so long, but I was prepared to make a long-term commitment, Rosen told the Jewish Telegraphic Agency. It's something that's always been close to my heart. I felt that if I can help people avoid that stage of not knowing how to participate in Jewish practices and facilitate their participation, the effort was worth it. Rosen's translation is his gift to a Jewish community he once led, but eventually decided he had to leave. Born in Bucharest to a Jewish father and an Eastern Orthodox mother, Rosen became involved in Jewish life as a teenager, eventually becoming the country's chief rabbi after graduating from Yeshivat Shavavai Torah, a Moderna Orthodox seminary in New York City, in 2007. He underwent a formal conversion to Judaism in Israel in 2000 was the first Moderna Orthodox Chief Rabbi of Romania and, at the age of 29, the youngest Chief Rabbi in Europe. But after fulfilling a three-year contract, Rosen and his wife set out to live in a place with a stronger Jewish community. They headed to Montreal, where they both work in educational technology and the family has integrated into the city's thriving Orthodox community. As my children approached school age, I wanted to be able to give them options and opportunities for Jewish education, Rosen said. Unfortunately, Romania is struggling in this department. Romania was once a center of Jewish life, with a Jewish population of about 800,000 before the Holocaust. His anti-Semitic regime murdered almost all Jews in some parts of the country from the beginning, but eventually most of the country's Jews survived, before leaving for Israel or anywhere else in the second half of the 20th century, when Romania was unusual among communist countries for allowing Jews to emigrate freely. Today, it is estimated that fewer than 10,000 Jews live in Romania. I suspect the number is much closer to about 5,000, Rosen said, noting that Romanian Jews tend to be secular-oriented and many have married non-Jews. He added, the members of the community are, for the most part, very dedicated to Judaism. They participate in Jewish holidays and community events and try to keep the flame lit. Now, they will have Torah S.I. Haftarot as a tool to help them, joining several other translations of Jewish texts into Romanian that Rosen has produced over the past decade. The Chumash stands out in several ways, although there are several Romanian translations of the Hebrew Bible, they are all from a Christian lens. This is the first Jewish translation into Romanian, and it presents not only the Hebrew text, but also the phonetic transliteration of the entire text in the Latin alphabet. There are also approximately 4,000 explanations and brief annotations based on classical Jewish commentators such as Rashi and Ibn Ezra and texts including the Midrash and the Talmud. For the community in Romania, this is a phenomenal thing, Rosen said. As much as they want to get involved Judaically, many don't know how to read Hebrew. Or if they do, their Hebrew skills are pretty poor. While the entire project spanned seven years from ideation to completion, Rosen did most of the work during the pandemic. He translated, transliterated and formatted the content on his own, then recruited his wife, Livia, and his Montreal friends, Minnie Gutman and Bobby Shaw, as editors. Once the book was ready for the press, Rosen raised $13,000 in a few days through a GoFundMe campaign, which allowed him to print 700 copies, a few hundred of which he has distributed as a donation to Jewish communities throughout Romania. The proceeds from the sales of the rest go to reprints and similar projects. Honestly, although, of course, I believed in the project, I did not expect such a show of support," said Rosen, who eventually got more than $17,000 in donations from more than 100 individual donors. 
To know that I was a part of that and that my project allowed people to contribute to such a worthy and meaningful cause is really amazing. About 250 people are expected to attend the official launch of Tour SI Haftarot on Sunday, which Rosen will attend remotely from Montreal. He will speak briefly alongside leaders of the Romanian Jewish community, who say they see the Chumash as a crucial tool to engage their constituents. Rabbi Rosen has provided us with an invaluable gift of Torah, for which our community is very grateful," said Edward Kupferberg, Secretary General of the Federation of Jewish Communities of Romania. With the publication of the first Romanian Chumash, we are taking another step to guarantee the Jewish future of our community and to keep the Jewish flame alive in the consciousness and soul of our members. While Rosen's Chumash has been the biggest and most complicated project he has undertaken to date, it is far from the first work he has produced for the Romanian Jewish community. In 2001, he published a translated and transliterated work on Shabbat, a booklet containing blessings and songs related to the Sabbath and the holidays. That was followed by a Pur Megillah, Book of Esther, and a Passover Haggadah in 2003, a second edition was published in 2021, and the prayer book Lamana Chai in 2011. Rabbi Rosen Sitter opened the doors of prayer to those who cannot read Hebrew fluently and became the standard prayer book for the Romanian Jewish community, as well as countless other Romanian-speaking Jews, said Rabbi Raphael Schaefer, Chief Rabbi of Romania. In the same vein, the Chumash translated by Rabbi Rosen deserves to become the standard translation of the Torah for all Romanian-speaking Jews, wherever they may be. Having accumulated enough funds to print only 700 copies of Torah S.I. Haftarot, Rosen is eager to raise more money to print a second edition, which according to him will include editions of the first. There is no such thing as a perfect translation, he said. It's simply impossible. The moment you start translating, you automatically start interpreting. And we are human, we make mistakes. There is a typo here, a bad translation there. On my website, I will invite people to point out the additions that they consider necessary and that will be considered for the second edition. Launched in 2001, Rosen's Romanian language website contains hundreds of his commentaries on the weekly Torah portion, the Amidah prayer that is central to the Jewish liturgy and other texts, as well as about 500 answers to Jewish questions posed by visitors. The mailing list associated with the site has more than 1,000 subscribers of all denominations. Rosen is not stopping yet. My plan is, God willing, to translate the entire Tanakh, he said, referring to the expanded Hebrew Bible that also includes historical writings, books of prophecy, and much more. He is already working on a prayer book for the major holidays, or Mazur, in collaboration with Schaefer, a book of Psalms and more. For now, though, he's taking a moment to appreciate the texts that are already changing the way Romanian Jews engage with their tradition. I feel joy and gratitude to Hashem, God, and my friends and followers for being able to complete this work, and I am humbled by the incredible support and encouragement I received," Rosen said. I am elated that it has come to light, so that it can be useful and hopefully bring some Jewish meaning and spark to the lives of so many. I firmly believe that if even one person is going to be inspired by this, it's worth it.